Judas had the ability, but he wasn't available to do what Jesus said. And you can have ability, my dears, and if you're not available, you still haven't accomplished anything. I remember down Columbus playing football. Eva, Larry, I remember down there playing ball. And Melton, every time we rehearsed, every time we had practice, some guys, they wouldn't come to class. Some guys would hang out rolling and, and never come to school, would come out to rehearse, to practice. And he would, that boy would look at the quarterback throwing the ball. And when he'd get the ball, he would always throw it farther than our regular quarterback. He could outrun our running backs. He could outcatch a ball better than us, than our ends. But he wouldn't come to school. He could do all of that, but he wasn't available. And God is speaking to us today, and I hate to get on my soapbox of using your gift. It's a whole lot of us can sing, we can minister, we got the ability. Oh, Rev, talking about the gifts again. But we're not available. And God can't grade you on what you can do, He grades you on what you're doing. And Judas wasn't available to do what he's supposed to do. Judas somehow had a sin of greed. Judas loved money. Money is all right, my brothers and sisters, as long as it's in your pocket and not in your heart. Because soon as money gets into your heart, it destroys you if you don't know Jesus. Because there are some things money can't buy. Am I right about it? Money can buy you medicine, but it won't buy you good health. Am I right about it? Money can buy you locks on your doors, but still the crooks know how to get in. Money can buy you a marriage license, but it doesn't buy you a good marriage. Money can buy you clothes, but it doesn't buy you character. There are some things money can't buy, but Judas was wrapped up in money. His problem was that I want all that you can give me. 